Hey guys, what's going on? Kel back here again representing the 40 Call YouTube channel on behalf of me and Cole. Um, bringing you some up-to-date news regarding the Sisters of Silence for the upcoming Warhammer 40,000 9th edition and some of the rules and pictures that have been dropped on the Warhammer community article page. Uh, thanks very much for watching all these videos. There's a lot of videos coming at you a day to do with the Terrain Updates, Sisters of Silence, Adeptus Custodes, and Imperial Assassinorum. And for all those videos, they will be getting separate videos. Um, and this is video just dedicated to the Sisters of Silence. Um, but before we get going, just a quick shout out to all the guys who have watched all the videos today and all the videos around the channel from the start. It really means a lot. Thanks very much to anyone who's uh, liked the videos and commented and subscribed. If this is the first time you've come to the channel and you want to do the same and be part of a brand new Warhammer 40k channel, then at the very least, leave a like button, treat yourself to a, a blue like button at the bottom. And if you want to hear more from us, we post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to be kept up to date. Without further ado, we'll crack on and see what the Sisters of Silence have to offer. Okay, so the Sisters of Silence um, is a faction that I'm uh, not entirely uh, up to date with. Um, up to date with things like the Sisters of a Battle. Um, I've read a lot of the lore and the rules and stuff around the Sisters of Battle, but not the Sisters of Silence. Um, Cole's more up to date with the Sisters of Silence than I am. So this article is going to be new for me, new for you guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing what it says. So we have... The Sisters of Silence. As is the Psychic Awakening expands across the galaxy, it's good to have someone who can shut Psychers down. Okay, like this is going, because I hate Psychic armies. Hate Psychic. I mean, I'm going to run one or two Psychers, but things like Thousand Suns, or oh, traitors, absolute traitors. <laughs> to help the Sisters of Silence in their duties, they have some new rules, and they have some new rules and stratagems that will ensure their place at the Imperium's uh, premier witch hunters. I've got a picture of them there. Um, these must be the ladies in gold in front of a nice golden rhino. Look at that. Get that on Pimp My Ride and see what happens. <laughs> uh, thanks to uh, their talents of the Emperor rule, the Sister of Silence can be added into any Adeptus Custodes army. However, if you wanted to add them into another Imperial force, the Null Maidens rule can help you out. The Null Maidens. Oh, this is not going to be good for psychers. I already know. So the Sister of Silence Vanguard Detachment, that is a Vanguard Detachment that includes only Sisters of Silence units, is treated as having HQ Battlefield row slots of zero and command benefits of none. Note that this means that there are no compulsory HQ selections for Sisters of Silence Vanguard Detachments. Okay, so include them in a Space Wars army and recreate the Burning of Prospero. Uh, whoever you unleash them with, their anti psychic powers will definitely come in handy. Okay, so we've got Psychic Abomination. This unit cannot be targeted or affected by psychic powers. Oh, oh, yes, 100% yes. When a psychic test or denied the witch test is taken, for an enemy model, subtract one from the total for which the unit uh, from your army with this ability within 80 inches of the model. That's with a maximum of minus four. So this unit can't be targeted or affected by psychic powers whatsoever. And when a psychic test or denied the witch test is taken for an enemy model, subtract one from the total for each unit from your army within this ability within 18 inches. Eight inches is a long way, and if you have a few of these going to minus four, and you have them out as a small screening unit, oh, that's going to shut psychic powers down. People are going to come to their psychic phase and going to be going, oh, hang on, I've got to cast Smite at the closest enemy model. And you've put the Sister of Silence out of the front. They're the closest, can't target them. Oh, dear, never mind. It's having, like, a, a failing loads of Kalux as assassins. <laughs> that's just, that's crazy. I don't know how many units, how many models are in a unit and stuff like that. But now I'm interested to find out, hopefully there's a bit more about it down here. So whether you prefer uh, prosecutors, vigilators or witch seekers, you'll be able to quell enemy psychers. Although 
If they do manage to manifest a psychic power, the Sisters of Silence still have a stratagem that can stop it. So for one CP, we got Empiric Severance. Empiric Severance. Use this stratagem in your opponent's psychic phase. When an enemy psyker manifests a psychic power within 18 inches of a Sisters of Silence infantry unit from your army, after any deny the witch attempt, so it's after that, Roll 1d6 on a 3+, plus. that psychic power is resisted and its effects are negated. Well, within 18 inches on a 3+, plus. so you've got a 50-50 chance of rolling it off for 1 CP. Oh, that's cool. Um, and it's on a psychic as well, It and there's no limit to how many times you can use it. So if you have plenty CP, and a psychic rolls and wants to use smite, you can use it on that. And then if you, it wants to use it on another psychic power, use that. And if it has it on a third psychic power, you can try denied. So that's basically going to shut down the psychic phase for any sort of psychic army. Uh, things like the Drakari, the Yanari, um, what else we got? Like aspects of aspects of chaos, um, in particular the Thousand Suns, that's going to shut them down for, for a start. And if these people come up against Magnus the Red, Magnus the Red ain't going to be doing a lot against this lot. Just imagine the look on your opponent's face when they think they've been successful and then you ruin their best laid plans. Then picture the look on their face when you let loose a wall of fire against your foes. So for 1 to 2 CP, we've got pure, uh, Purger... Purgaton? What's that say? Pugation Sweep. Pugation Sweep. Uh, use this stratagem in the shooting phase. Select a Witch Seeker unit from your army that contains five or less models for one CP or six or more models for two CP until the end of the phase when determining the number of attacks made by flame weapons that models uh, in the unit are equipped with any result of less than four count as four. Okay, so basically the minimum you can do on the flame weapons is four. That's, that's powerful. I like that. So when you're hitting on, uh, if you've got like D6 shots, I think this is what I'm reading into this. So you've got D6 shots, you're going to get the minimum of four for one CP. That's cool. I like that. So it's going to give you the chance to, and, and it's fluffy as well, because if you've got loads of uh, Witch Seekers with loads of flame, as you want them to, to, to pump out loads of flame and burn all the heretics and burn the witches and burn the Zeos. Uh, so that, that works really well. I like it. Enemy unit hunkered down an objective, on an objective. Use a stratagem to absolutely uh, emulate them. That's that's cool. I like that. The new sister silent stratagem will, re will really let you uh, play them as the emperor's chosen anti psycho force. Of course, if you prefer something a bit more covert, we have the Fissuno Assassinorum. But like I said at the beginning, that's going to be a totally different video. That's going to be the next video, um, which I'll do very shortly to follow this one. So if you, if it's up and you're interested in the um, the Assassins, click on the next video and that's where the Assassin's going to be. But for this one, this is just going to dedicate to the Sisters of Silence. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. I've learned a little bit there about the Sisters of Silence and what they can do, how they are the anti psychic units of the Emperor. Really good, really fluffy. I enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think below. Let me and Cole know what you think below. Do, I, would you be tempted to get some Sisters of Silence? Um, have you come up against psychic armies before where you've needed that bit of anti psyche and you haven't been able to field it? Would this give you the option that you've been looking for? Generally, let me and Cole know what you think and we'll get back to all your comments in due time. And of course, if you like the video, hit that like button for us, please. It really does make a difference. I see it in every video. And I might be getting old, but you can't understand how much of a difference it makes. Hitting the like button can really do a lot. It can give us a confidence boost and put the video at the top of the liked videos for this particular article. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications for the most up-to-date Warhammer 40,000 uh, news regarding 9th edition. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. The next video, like I said, will be all about the Assassins. So if you're looking forward to that, stick with us and that will be up very shortly. But until next time, this has been Kel on behalf of 40 Call saying thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later.